for nerdy mothers to name Alan. And this one is going to be taking us through a beautiful vinyasa flow. And we're going to be focusing on really building out the strength in our lower body this morning to elevate our heart rate and to get our endorphins flowing for another beautiful day. So the first position that we're going to start, and if you're just joining us on Zoom, uh, what you can do to make sure that my screen is pinned is if you want to go into the top right hand corner in the gallery view and then you can select the best view um, that's going to suit you this morning. So we're going to start off in a nice seated position this morning and we're just going to warm up and connecting into our body and uh, warming up to our thoracic spine. So hands placed on the knees I'm just going to invite everyone now to close down our eyes and we're just going to take a few deep breaths to just ground into, into our body. So closing down our eyes now I'm going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose, filling up the lungs, starting from the bottom of the belly. Slight hold at the top and a long, deep exhalation through the mouth. And again, deep breath in through the nose, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, one, two, and exhale, four, three, two, one. So again, inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top. Noticing our body's feeling this morning. And a long exhalation. Ah, beautiful. Let's find one more breath here. Inhale. Hold. And setting our intention on this exhale to allowing our shoulders and our body to soften and slowly release. Ah. Keeping our eyes closed, returning back to our regular breath. We just want to start to bring our awareness to how our body is feeling this morning. Starting with a little bit of a body scan, starting from the top of the crown. And down the head into the shoulders, down past the chest and the back of the spine. And just noticing as we go through our body scan this morning, if there's any tightness or needles, just bring your awareness to those places in the body as we go down past the chest, the ribs, into the belly, the back of the spine, around the hips. And just scanning down the thighs, into the knees, the calves, and finally down into the feet. I'm just holding awareness now in any parts of the body that is maybe a little bit tender or you may want to focus more on this morning. And so we're going to be taking one deep breath in here. And as we inhale, I invite us now to send our breath into these different parts of the Deep breath in now, four, three, two, one, and a long exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. With our eyes closed, bringing our awareness to our mat that we're seated on this morning. And in just a moment, we're going to set our intention for our practice, just knowing that our practice this morning is exactly how it needs to be for our body. Our intention may be to build strength, to focus on our breath, to increase our flexibility, our stamina, or it could simply be our intention is showing up for ourselves. And I'm going to allow us now a few seconds as we take a few deep breaths. As we think about our intention and hold our intention in our heart space for our practice this morning. And now breathing deeply into our intention that we set this morning. Holding this for the rest of our practice as we open up our eyes. We're going to take a deep breath in as we take our left hand on our right knee, 
And as we exhale, we're going to take our right hand and place it behind our tailbone, slightly twisting through the thoracic spine, starting at the base, through to the chest and ending with the chin, looking over the right shoulder. As we inhale, allow the chin to start to come back, following with the chest, bringing ourselves back into the center. Both hands down on the mat. As we exhale, we're going to place the right hand on the left knee. Left hand goes behind the tailbone. Inhale, lengthen the spine, deep breath. Exhale, gently starting to twist the thoracic spine towards the left side. Starting with the base first, coming up into the ribs, the chest, and lastly ending with the head, looking over the neck. Inhale, untwisting slowly, leading with the head first, and the chest, the spine, and the base, and flowing onto the other side. Exhale, left hand on right knee, slowly twisting, opening up through the spine, gently bringing out through all those different organs, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, slowly untwist ourselves from the bottom to the top. Exhale, switching sides, left hand behind the tailbone, gently looking over the left shoulder and just noticing each time we slightly go a little bit further, inhale to return, exhale, let's go over to the right hand side again. Exhaling through our mouth, the soft lips, noticing our body is starting to slowly loosen up, inhale to return back to centre, exhale, let's do one more side here on the left hand side. Beautiful, inhale, slowly come back. Nice work, guys, you're looking great, all right. So we're just gonna stretch out the side body before we get into our child's pose. So both hands are gonna come down flat on the mat. Inhale, lengthening the spine, reaching the left hand up as high as we can. Shoulders relaxed. Exhale, slightly reach up and over. Bending down into our right elbow, depending on our flexibility this morning, ensuring we're keeping a nice, strong spine. Inhale, slowly release. Raising up the right hand now. Exhale, reach over into that left hand side of the body. Ensuring the shoulder is down away from the ear. Inhale to return the right arm. Raising up the left hand. Exhale to reach over into that side body. Now we're going to hold here for another breath. So breathe into the left hand side of the body as we exhale, allowing all those muscles to start to let go as we come over just a little bit further, pressing our left hip into the mat. Inhale, slowly return back to centre. Final side now, raising the right hand, reach, exhale, extending over, pressing the right hip into the mat. Deep breath now into the right side body. Exhale, let's go a little bit further, stretch, 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 beautiful work, guys. Inhale, slowly return back to centre. Nice. Let's get into our child's pose position. So slowly finding our way into the end of the mat. We're going to start with our toes touching together and we're going to spread the knees. We're going to stay in this position for about four to six breaths. I'll guide you through and our intention is just to really allow ourselves to loosen up through the hips. So coming to our child's pose, pushing our hips back into our knees and to our heels walking the fingertips out towards the end of the mat and resting uh, the third eye and the top of the forehead down on the mat. The invitation here now is to really focus on those nice, deep, nourishing breaths. So as we inhale through the nose into the belly, we want to notice and feel the belly raise into the thighs. And as we exhale, giving our body permission to release any tension that we may be holding in the hips. Again, deep breath into the belly here, noticing the belly and the chest rise against the hips. And as we exhale, just allowing our chest to sink down into the mat. Another breath in here as we inhale, walking the fingers out a little bit further towards the end of the mat. And as we exhale, we're going to roll the shoulder blades down and pop them into the back hip socket. Lengthening out through the underarms. Two more breaths here as we inhale into the belly. Exhale, noticing now the inside of the hips may be feeling a little bit tight. Opening up through the inner thighs. 
One last breath as we inhale, focusing now on the back of our spine. Child's pose is a great position to allow anything that we want to let go to fall and roll down our spine. Beautiful work, guys. On our next inhale, we're going to slowly shift forward onto all fours and find our tabletop position. Hands are going to be directly underneath the shoulders, pressing through all five points. Knees are under the hips. Coming into our cat cow, as we inhale, we're going to bend through the spine, opening up through the heart center, drawing the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, rolling the tailbone first and pressing up through the hands, tucking the chin into the chest. Inhale, rolling down with the spine, opening up through the heart center, eyes to the sky. Exhale, rolling down, tucking the chin into the chest. Beautiful. Finding our breath and our movement now with our cat cow. Noticing if you may want to move the body around. Just allowing any movement that wants to Come through your cat cow. We're staying with our traditional. Beautiful. We're going to find two more here. Sitting you back into the hips if that may feel good. Open up to the chest. And our next inhale, let's find ourselves into our tabletop position. Nice work, guys. We're going to come into our first downward facing dog. So, walking our hands slightly forward towards the end of the mat now, pressing to all five points of the fingers, creating a bit of a suction cup underneath the palm, tucking into the toes, taking a deep breath in. As we exhale, we're going to sink our hips back, bend at the knees, and press up into our downward facing dog. Hips are high towards the sky, and we're going to walk out our dog now. This is one of my favorite phrases in yoga. We're going to walk the dog. Just really starting to open up through those hamstrings now. And eyes are gazing at the big toes between our arms. Beautiful. Just, so just ensuring that you're noticing it is the morning, our hamstrings or lower back may be feeling a little bit tight. So we can bend the knees if we need to, and we want to press up through the hips versus having any um, tension or bending in the spine. So from here, I'm going to inhale, bend the knees, eyes gaze up towards the top of the mat. Exhale, we're going to step the feet up into the top of the mat into our forward fold. Beautiful. I'm just going to hang here for a little bit now, guys, as we take a few deep breaths, relaxing the arms down. Coming into our monkey grip, both hands on opposite elbow and just into our elephant swing. Allowing the hips to sway side to side, resting the head down. And our next exhale, allowing the hands to lower down towards the mat. On our inhale, we're going to slide the hands up the shins or the knees, coming to our halfway lift. Lengthening through the spine, drawing the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, release everything down into the floor. Inhale again, halfway lift, drawing those shoulder blades down and back, lengthening through the crown of the spine, aiming for a flat back. Exhale to release. Beautiful. Finding one more halfway lift. Inhale, reaching forward, drawing those shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, softening down. As we inhale now, bend the knees, the hands going to come away from the body, opening up into our mountain pose with a slight back bend. And as we exhale, bringing the hands away from the body, hinging back at the hips first into our forward fold. Inhale, hands are going to come down towards the mat, stepping back into a high plank position, engaging through the abdominals here, pressing the spine away, neck is long. Beautiful. Deep breath in here. As we exhale, lowering to the knees, hugging the elbows in towards the chest, all the way coming down towards the ground. Pointing through the toes. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening up through the heart. Exhale, lower back down. Using our strength now, squeezing through the glutes, pressing up into our low plank, pressing back into our downward facing dog. Beautiful.
On the next inhale, bending at the knees, taking a nice big step forward again into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release down towards the floor. Inhale, we're going to bend the knees, open the chest and come up into our chair pose. So with our chair pose, we're sinking back at the hips. We've got our feet just close to the hip width apart. Drawing the shoulder blades down and back. Regression, if we are lacking shoulder flexibility, hands to the heart. We're really bringing our attention to our thighs now, creating strength. Ensuring our tailbone is tucked under to ensure we're not creating tension to the spine. Deep breath here, inhale. As we exhale, pressing up firmly into our mountain pose, hands come down towards the heart. Beautiful inhale, reaching hands high, slight back bends. Exhale, bending down the knees, opening to the chest, coming into our halfway lift. Inhale, hands come down to the ground. Exhale, stepping back into a high plank. Inhale, hold here. Now we can either lower down on our toes, or drop to the knees if we need to. So choosing our choice with our practice. Inhale, lowering down. Chest comes all the way down to the ground. Inhale, squeezing the shoulder blades, pointing to the toes. Exhale to lower back down, using our strength to come back up and finding our downward facing dog. Beautiful. Taking a deep breath here. Pressing the weight into our right foot, eyes gazing on our right big toe, inhale, pressing our left leg up and away, beautiful, exhale, we're going to bring the knee into the right elbow, pressing forward, inhale, pressing back into our three-legged dog, exhale, drawing the left knee into the right elbow, squeeze, Beautiful, inhale, pressing back into our three-legged dog. Exhale, last one here, knee into the right elbow. Three, two, one. Beautiful, inhale, pressing back into our three-legged dog. And exhale, pressing the left leg all the way forward through into our low arms, dropping the back right knee down, opening up the hands towards the sky, taking a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we want to ensure we're scissoring the thighs together to create tension. Beautiful. Inhale here. As we exhale, opening up to our heart space, squeezing the shoulder blades, opening up our wings. Inhale, hands come back towards the sky. As we exhale, lowering the hands down to the mat, tucking the right toe under, straightening out through the right leg. Now we can either stay in our low lunge, we can use the strength of our thigh or use our hands and press up into our high lunge. Beautiful. Creating strength, ensuring we're pressing through all four points of the front thigh. Progression is hands to the heart. Inhale here as we exhale, creating that strength, scissoring both of the legs together. Ensuring hips are square to the front of the wall. One last breath in here, inhale. As we exhale, finding our warrior two. Rolling onto the back side of the foot, 45 degree angle. Arms are out long, reaching through the fingertips. Creating strength in this front thigh. Beautiful work guys, taking a deep breath in here into the belly. As we exhale, I invite us to go a little bit lower. Creating that strength of finding, finding the point where we may lose our awareness of our breath. Bring ourselves back into our breath. One last breath here as we inhale, opening up through the top palm, faces the ceiling. As we exhale, shifting back into reverse warrior, still creating that strength in our front thigh. As we exhale, circling forward, we're going to slightly rest the left arm on the left leg. In what we can imagine here is there's a magnet between both of the, the legs and the arms. We don't want to be fully lowering down. 
Beautiful. Deep breath in here as we exhale, let's circle the hands back towards the floor, twisting onto our back right foot. Inhale here, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, finding our high plank. Inhale, pressing forward. Exhale, lowering down onto our knees or our hands if we need to. And inhale, finding our upward facing dog. Regression is our cobra, pointing through the toes. As we exhale, rolling onto the back of the feet, finding our table, down the face of dog. Beautiful, deep breath in here. Eyes gazing at the toes, breathing into the belly. On our next breath, let's raise the right leg up into our three-legged dog. As we exhale, driving the right knee into our left elbow, hold, squeeze. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, bringing our right leg into our left elbow. Three, two, one. Last one. Look up this, guys. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, driving forward. Three, squeeze. Two, one. Inhale, extend from to our three-legged dog. Exhale, bringing the right leg forward, dropping the back right knee. Inhale, coming up into our crescent lunge, finding our breath into our belly. As we exhale, squeezing both of the legs together, creating strength. Remember our regression is hands to the heart if we need. Breathing deeply here, one last breath in. As we exhale, lowering the hands down, tucking the back toe under, coming up into a high lunge, using the strength of our thighs or our hands, coming up into a high lunge. At any time, we can drop down to the knee or bring the hands to the heart center. Finding our breath here. Ensuring we're pressing through all four points of the front thigh, of the front foot. Deep breath in here, reach. On our next exhalation, we're going to find our warrior two. So rolling the back foot into a 45 degree angle, pressing slightly into the back side of the left heel and ensuring that our right knee is slightly turned out over our pinky. Inhale here deeply, reach through both arms. As we exhale, let's try to find a little bit more strength in that front thigh. Beautiful work, guys. You're doing great. Finding stillness. And our next inhalation, opening up through the front palm, extending back, up and back into our reverse warrior. And as we exhale, sinking down just a little bit lower into the right thigh. Beautiful. Inhale here, circling the arms around, creating a magnet between the right elbow and the right knee, ensuring we're not allowing our body to soften, creating strength. Breathe in here deeply. Beautiful. One last breath here, inhale. As we exhale, circling the arms back down, twisting into the back foot, finding our low lunge, bringing ourselves back into our high plank. We rest the knees if we need to. Our inhale, shift forward, exhale, lowering down, finding our upward facing dog or our cobra. Inhale, exhale, rolling back into our downward facing dog. Beautiful. Taking a deep breath in here. We're going to go through this flow one more time with a little bit more speed. So on our next inhale, we're going to bring our left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow this time. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Last one, left knee to left elbow. Bringing our left leg all the way through now into our low or high lunge. Inhale, raising up. Beautiful. Inhale here. Exhale, sink down, creating strength. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, creating strength, reaching through the hands. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, spiraling through, knee to elbow to the knee. Inhale here. Exhale, circling the hands down, twisting at the back foot into a high plank. Exhale, lowering down. Squeeze the elbows into the ribs. Inhale, upper facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down the facing dog. Beautiful, guys. Taking a deep breath in here. We've got one more side to go. Inhale, right leg high towards the sky. Exhale, right leg to right knee. Inhale, three leg a dog. Exhale, right leg to right knee. Inhale, final one here. Exhale, bringing our right leg all the way through. Dropping the back knee if we need to. Coming up into our lunge or else finding our strength. Wherever we're at in our practice is perfect. Inhale here, exhale, warrior two. Reaching through the arms, inhale. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, spiraling the right arm, the right leg, open. Exhale, finding our plank. Inhale here, body weight forward. Exhale, drop to the knees if we need, hug the elbows into the chest. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, one breath here, inhale to the belly. Exhale, lowering down and finding our child's pose. Beautiful work, guys. Taking a deep breath into the belly. And as we exhale, allowing our breath to start to soften and slow down. On the next inhalation, let's slowly bring our body weight forward. And into our hands and our knees. Tucking the toes under, we're going to find our high plank. We're going to come into our half pigeon. So inhale into the high plank. And as we exhale, we're just going to bring the left knee towards the left elbow, bringing the right foot to sit wherever it falls down today. Slowly shifting our body weight backwards, sliding our right leg back. It's a great exercise to opening up outside of the hip. I'm just going to hold it here for a second as we inhale, opening out through the chest. If we can, we want to try and flex the right foot. And now if we choose to deepen the stretch, and every exhale, I want us to allow the power of gravity to slowly bring us down. So just slowly finding where it feels like the muscle is being put slightly under tension to open and release. That may be up on the hands, down on the forearms. Ensuring we're slowing down the breath, breathing into the belly. And then every exhale, we're slowly surrendering our whole body towards the mat. It may be comfortable to slowly go down and plant the forehead on the hands. Beautiful. I invite us now to breathe into the left side of the hip and the inner thigh. And on every exhale, giving uh, that part of the body permission to start to release. And feeling on every breath the little tiny minute movements as the body starts to let go. Depending how flexible we are, we may want to stretch our arms out in front of us. Just allowing our body to be whatever feels best. If we find three more breaths here, breathing to the belly, and then every exhale, softening just that little bit further. Final breath in, 
exhale all the way. On the next inhale, we're slowly going to find our way back onto our hands. And we're going to shift our body weight forward so that our right heel is sinking into the right hip slightly. If we can, we can either stay in this position here, inhale, otherwise we can bring our hands all the way around the right foot, depending on our flexibility. We may tuck our right foot all the way into the elbow, choosing whatever feels best for us this morning. We can use our left hand to balance on the floor, or if we're super flexible, which I'm not right now, and we've got a great balance as we can balance <laughs> on the fronts. Eyes gaze forward, reaching out through the chest, just really allowing this deep stretch in the front of the right quadricep. And exhale, slowly releasing the foot back down towards the ground. And so what we're going to do now is we're just going to slowly roll our, our left hip down onto the mat to come out of the stretch. Beautiful. And bringing ourselves back into our tabletop position. We're just going to straighten out the left leg now with the toe on the ground. Just allow the blood flow to come back into the body. Good. And we're going to meet the left toe with the right toe as we come up into our plank. Inhale here as we exhale, we're going to do the same on the other side. The right knee is going to come as far as we can to the right elbow, and allowing the left foot to fall. Good. And then slowly kicking and rolling our body all the way back, sliding our left leg back. If we do want to get a deeper stretch here, we can try to move the, left, um, the right foot slightly higher and parallel to the right knee. But I always just like to trust that wherever the foot falls is perfect for our practice this morning. So holding here, our hands are flat on the floor, opening up to the chest. Inhale. Slightly bringing the left hip square towards the left heel if we can. Now we can either hold in this position, or as we exhale, allowing gravity to slowly pull ourselves down. We may only get with a slight bend here, and this is perfect. Just listening to our body and as we make and down towards the elbows. Other options is resting the hand on the forehead and eventually finding our hands all the way extended. Which it may take a few weeks or months to get to this position and just know this is all perfect. This is a part of our yoga practice. Just working with where our body's at and connecting back into the breath. So the breath is what allows our body and the muscles to start to release. Beautiful. Finding stillness, noticing any tightness or tension in the outside of the right hip, I invite us to breathe into the space, sending it love, compassion, and as we exhale, allowing it to release Envisioning the fascia and cobwebs around the muscles to let go. Three more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, allowing the hips to soften. Inhale. Beautiful. One last inhale. And as we exhale, letting out all of the air, softening just that little bit more. Nice work, guys. And then next inhale, slowly finding ourselves back up, allowing the right foot now to sink back into the left hip if we can. And finding our stretch with our quadricep. We can either point the toes towards the right glue, or we can bring the hands around the feet and the hands open up through the chest, allowing that nice deep stretch through the left quad. Right, guys. One last breath here. As we exhale, slowly lowering the left foot towards the ground. And we're just going to roll onto the outside of the right hip now, kicking our legs around to the front of the mat, finding ourselves seated on our sit bones. Beautiful. 
So hugging the hands around the front of the thighs, just coming to the front of the mat slightly, ensuring nothing is behind us as we slowly roll our spine down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to bring both of the, the feet, the knees into the chest, if you find my words. I'm going to come into our dead bug position, which is one of my favorites. So we're going to bring both of the fingers together, the index and the middle finger. I'm going to bring it on the outside of the feet, bringing our knees into the shoulders as we flex the feet high towards the sky. Ensuring now that our spine is flat on the floor, our tailbone ideally wants to still be on the floor as well, ensuring we're not curled up. And let's create some tension here. So as we inhale, we're going to use the strength of our arms to softly pull the knees down into the outside of the shoulders. And as we exhale, we're going to press the feet up into the ceiling. As we inhale, pull down slightly. As we exhale, slightly push away. Beautiful. You can feel that slight tension in the muscles. Nice work, guys. Continuing with our breath here. Inhale to pull knees around the outside of the shoulders. Exhale to create that tension and push away. Let's find three more breaths here. Inhale. And two more. Bring our awareness into how our body's feeling. Last one here to breath in. As we exhale, slowly lowering the feet down towards the glutes. Hugging the knees into the chest. Right, let's straighten out the left thigh now. Hugging the right knee in towards the chest. We're going to bring the left hand on the outside of the right knee. Right hand is going to come out straight, palm facing up towards the ceiling. As we inhale here, we're going to slowly start to roll the right knee over towards the left side. As, and as we exhale, surrendering just as far as our body feels like it can go this morning. If we can touch our right knee all the way down towards the left side, that's great. If not, this is perfect as well. And our eyes are going to gaze onto the right hand into our spinal twist. And I invite us now to close down our eyes. And as we breathe into the belly, allowing a nice long exhalation and just seeing how much we can allow the different parts of our body to soften this morning. Noticing when we may be feeling tight across the right side of the chest. There's a little bit of tension in the lower spine. Just breathing into any parts of the body. Maybe feeling a little bit tight or discomfort. And then exhale, giving that part of the body permission to soften the spine. Seeing how many times throughout the day we may be feeling tension in our body or our neck. We may ignore it and continue to go on throughout the day. This is our time now to give our body some love with our breath. This is great for creating detoxing throughout the organs as we twist. Giving us final twist. Let's find two more breaths here. And our final one is we inhale. We're going to slowly bring our right knee back towards the chest as we roll both of the knees in towards the chest, finding our neutral spine. So just giving us spine some love now as we roll around the spine. And let's straighten out the right leg and do the same on the other side. So right hand comes into the outside of the left knee, left hand opens up through the left side of the body. As we exhale, slowly allowing our left leg to fall to the right side of the body. Just finding wherever is comfortable for our practice this morning. 
and our left eyes gaze at the left hand, closing down the eyes. Just noticing maybe which side is a little bit tighter than the other. Breath into the belly. As we exhale, just allowing our body to soften, relax, let go. Maybe letting go of any tension in the outer left hip, and the left chest, and the shoulder. In the belly and the spine. Having three more breaths now as we inhale deeply into the belly. Letting out every last bit of oxygen and breath through the mouth. The last one here as we inhale, slowly bringing the knees back in towards the center of the chest. Just rolling around the spine. I'm going to come into our final pose this morning, our Shavasana. A corpse pose. So we can either have our feet wide and knees are touching together in the middle, or else we can come all the way down. Just allowing the feet to fall away and the hands facing up. In a comfortable position and closing down our eyes. Deep breath in through the nose. And a long exhalation through the mouth. And deep breath in through the nose, into the belly, into the chest. Long exhalation through the mouth. As we start to notice the different sensations of the breath as we inhale through the nose, we notice the air is a little bit fuller. And as we exhale through the nose or the mouth, we notice the temperature is a little bit warmer. Bringing the awareness to the subtle sensations of the nostrils as we inhale. Of the air passing up through every little bit of the nostril, down the back of the throat. The subtle differences that that creates in the body. And that subtle shift from the top of the inhale where there's a brief pause to when we start to exhale. Allowing our body permission and our mind permission to let go, to soften just that little bit more. Knowing that the breath is the most powerful tool that we can use to bring ourselves back into this present moment. And now holding in our mind's eye our intention that we set for the start of our practice. And just bring the awareness to how our body is feeling now. And bring our awareness into our heart. And we sing the pulse in our heart beats for us 24 hours a day. Just in this moment, giving thanks to our heart, 
providing us with oxygen, breath, life, and thanking our body for allowing us to experience everything that we have experienced up until this moment and will continue to experience. And taking a nice deep breath in now into the belly and a long deep exhalation. Ah. And the next inhalation, just slowly starting to bring movements back into the fingers and the toes, but keeping our eyes closed. Slowly starting to awaken the different senses, noticing the different sounds that we're hearing around our environment, bringing ourselves back into our space. And our next inhalation, slowly rolling onto the right hand side of the body. And when we're ready, slowly coming up into our seated position. Hands at the hearts. Just thanking ourselves for showing up again to another practice, choosing our health. Thank you so much for choosing to jump on the replay, for watching the replay, for jump on live. It's been amazing to have some company and I wish everyone an incredible Tuesday. Namaste.